and welcome to The Wine Draw. My name is Renee and I will be your host. I am a wine enthusiast and I'm here to unwrap all the possibilities of wine with you. Um, from where wine comes from, what you can do with wine, where you can visit wine grows, wine regions, and the most important thing, what you can eat with wine. Here with me is the Wine Draw's personal chef, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. How are you doing? Hi, Renee. I'm doing well. Here at the Wine Draw, you and I will be giving people a lot of information about wine. And we also will be using your expertise in pairing food with wine. Yes. yes. So tell us a little bit about how we're going to go about doing that. Well, it'll depend on what region the wine's from, if it's a white or a red, um, a full-bodied, medium-bodied. So it can, the food will all depend on what the beverage is, what the taste is. Can wine go with anything? Yes. So it can go with a dessert, something sweet? Yep. It can go with a vegetarian meal? Yeah, absolutely. And it can go with good meat? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Okay. All right. So. This should be interesting. Oh, it'll be fun. Okay. So in today's episode, we're going to bring in the warm weather by looking at a popular beverage made with wine known as sangria. When the drink was first invented and consumed, it tended to be prepared using red wine from La Roja, along with some local brandies and slices of fruit that were cheap and in abundance, such as apples, oranges, lemons, and grapes. As the drink expanded, people began making sangria using their own fruits and wines and making it to fit their own tastes. Sangria itself is a kind of red wine-based punch that is thought to have been created during the 15th century in Spain. However, due to its popularity, the drink spread rapidly to neighboring Portugal and other Spanish territories. Brought to America and consumed for enjoyment in the 60s, the drink first appeared in New York in 1964. Today, the typical sangria recipe consists of red wine, brandy or cognac, fruit, a sweetener of some sort, which tends to be honey or sugar, and finally some soda water such as lemonade. The recipe is not complicated and varies from place to place depending on what is on hand and what people prefer. Yet, there is some agreement on the fact that the fruit should be marinated for several hours so that the flavor of the fruit diffuses into the drink. So now we're going to start making our sangria by using a wine from Spain, from the La Roja region, and it's 100% Temporella grapes. So we're going to pour the wine into the pitcher. And a rule of thumb is that for every bottle of wine, you use a half, of, half a cup of spirits. So we're going to pour in our bottle of wine. Nice sound. Love it. Then we're going to take our peach liqueur, and we're going to pour in a half a bottle. And you can always do it to taste. Next, we're going to pour in a half a bottle of brandy. The inexpensive brandy will do. Or you can use a cognac. Half bottle? Half bottle. All right. Next, we're going to use some raspberry lemonade. For me, I like Tropicana. It works well. And how much of this, Renee, am I adding? Just add about half a cup. Then next I'm going to incorporate our fresh fruits into um, the pitcher. What I have here is frozen fruit so that it will chill the sangria as we're making it. So I'm going to add some strawberries. I'm going to add some blackberries. A few slices of orange. You should always incorporate a citrus fruit with a non-citrus fruit. So here we're incorporating the um, strawberries with lemons and limes. So your lemons, and then we have a lime. It's 
smells so good. Refreshing. Remember, this is our summertime party. And we have a whole audience here who's just waiting to party with us. Okay, so now we have made our ingredients of sangria. Now, you should let that chill for a few hours, but that's why I've put in the um, frozen fruit so that it will give it a little chill. Next, we're going to um, pour the sangria into our glasses. And before serving it to your guests, you should add a splash of sparkling um, water or soda or something um, to just give it a little bubble. And so to keep it cold, but not to dilute the um, wine and the juice, we're going to use frozen berries to substitute for ice cubes. And here we have our summertime sangria. Cheers. Cheers. So Taylor, now that we have made our summertime sangria, mm -hmm. um, we've prepared it with a full body red wine and lots of fruits and a little bit of spirits and it has a very lively taste to it. Mm -hmm. What are you going to prepare to go along with it? So we're going to have spicy shrimp tacos. Okay, so take us there. Okay, so the shrimp was prepared already. Um, in order to do this, all I did was I marinated the shrimp about five, ten minutes, and habanero chili powder, um, olive oil, black pepper, and a little bit of roasted garlic and herb, half a chopped jalapeno. So it's there's some kick in there. Some kick, okay. Um, and then I just sauteed it in a cast iron skillet, both sides. Did you put oil in the bottom of the pan? Just a little bit of olive oil. Um, but there, since there's already olive oil in the marinade, you should be okay. So what we're gonna do, it's gonna be easy to assemble, we're gonna take a, a small corn tortilla, tortilla. So, and I also have sriracha aioli, which again is another kick that we have here. So I always, I always add some to the bottom, just so everything's not like moving around. And I usually add three to four shrimp. Make sure you get some of the pieces that have the kick. The kick, <laughs> yes, the jalapeno. So then, if you would so kindly. So we have some green cabbage, red cabbage, and diced um, tomatoes. Any order? Doesn't matter. Okay. However you like okay. your tacos. I don't want to be skimpy on the, the, the green stuff, the vegetables. And so is this something that you would serve like this so everybody could make their own? Or would you make them, prepare them ahead of time and um, have them ready? Oh no, I have it out so that they could mix and match. And some people don't like tomatoes, which is, you know, okay. it's all personal taste. So okay. if you don't want all red cabbage or all green cabbage, it's completely up to you. Okay. Um, and then on top of this, I add a little bit more of the aioli. I wanna make sure we get kicks on all levels. Okay. And then you're good to go. Just roll it up, take a bite. So in this episode of The Wine Draw, we have invited you to our summertime party by inviting you with sangria, a full body wine punch, spicy shrimp tacos, and good company. So remember that anytime is a good time for wine. Thank you for joining us.